Hey guys, it's John and welcome back to another great Christian Guy Reacts reaction video. Today we're going to be reacting to Katie Nicole, who I had the honor of being able to see live back in Winter Jam a few months back. And it was a great experience and would definitely recommend seeing her live as well with her performances. She does a great job and is a very talented musician. Um, I'm going to be reacting to her new song, My God Can Hear, with uh, Naomi Rain. So excited to be able to take a look here at the song here together today. Definitely join me here as we're able to take a look here at it. And if there's something that stands out to you guys from the song, again, don't be afraid to put it down in the comments section below or to share it with me on social media. And definitely love some great shares and some great thoughts with you guys as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get into Katie Nicole's song, my God can. I know someone who knows what I'm up against. I know someone who's here in the midst of it, fighting for me. I like to how they're very much painting a picture, make it very personable from the start to about who's fighting for me, uh, who is helping me here in my struggles here. And I think we all know who that's going to be here, here in the next few seconds here. But I like very much how she's 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 definitely being inclusive here of how she's welcoming people into her song here and a little bit into her world here as well. In a battle I can never win all on my own. I might not be Very good. I like how she's going here too. It's like, I may not be able to do these things on my own, but I know there's a power greater who is able to do these things here. And it's definitely our mighty God who's able to do these mighty things here too. And I like how too, she's very bold and she's very, she's very much uh, declaring it here too. She's going into this next verse here and really these next set of lyrics here too, talking about uh, that my God is able, my God can hear. So let's go ahead and let's listen here as she continues that on. So I'm not afraid of what's ahead. I'm standing in the confidence that even though I can't, my God can. So interesting too, from a music side standpoint, it sounds... Uh, I don't want to say country. It definitely has a little bit of a country touch to it as far as a little bit of the acoustic I'm hearing right now. But uh, I would say this too. I love how she's introing in here to my God can, my God is able. I'm not going to be afraid because I know the power of my God. And I think if as Christians, if we had more of that stance in our lives, if more people did, just imagine the things that God would be able to. God's already doing some mighty things, but if everyone was on that same wavelength, um, that regardless of what's going on in our lives, that our God is able, and we walk with the boldness of the Holy Spirit in our lives, uh, man, oh man, God God be doing some amazing things. We'd be doing some amazing things as well. And praise God that he puts the boldness on us. Uh, Puts the bolt gives us boldness uh, through His mighty Holy Spirit that we're able to do that. Um, let's go ahead and let's continue it to listen here. He'll heal those who hurt and comfort every broken heart. Restore the home. I do like Naomi Rain. She has a very I love her uh, voice. She has an amazing voice and very much a powerful and bold voice too. Not that Kathy or Kate doesn't have one, but I think they very much complement each other really, really well. So I'm excited to see if there's a moment here in the song that they're able to sing here together. And I think here to restore the homes, man, oh man, I love just, there's some great topics here, some great things we'd be praying for. Pray that God shows up and is able to restore people's homes, restore people's marriages, restore people's families. Uh, and the testimonies that come out of that, the testimonies, I cannot stress how much how much how important those testimonies are because it glorifies god but also is a tool and a vessel that can be used to share god's goodness with other people testimonies 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 of god's goodness and god's power can never be undervalued or understated as well let's continue to listen a families who've been torn apart And do what seems impossible. 
You do it, Naomi. You keep. You tell them. Huh? You tell them here. Huh? Start. Start going here, and do what seems impossible too as well. I love this part here. Break those chains. Do what seems impossible, not because we're able to do it. Do it, but because our God is able and our God can do it. And each and every one of these opportunities is an opportunity for God to be glorified. Jesus does this so perfectly and illustrates this perfectly in the book of John and also across the gospels here too. Well, why why do you heal? Why do these things happen? We see the story about the blind man why well, the disciples immediately go into assuming of uh, well this his fa his parents must have uh, sinned or he must have been cursed that's why he's not able to see but Jesus tells them no this is an opportunity for my father to be glorified above all else here with what I'm about to do here what I'm about to do through my healing and the mighty things that I have planned here for the story and for this testimony as well um, and I love that testimony there and definitely it's part of being Christ-like in that manner there too. Um, but it's also very easy to go into the mindset of the disciples too, for us to go immediately thinking about like, man, what, what would have happened? What must have happened for this person to end up in this awful state? But if we think about and we fixate at that so much, we lose focus on what God probably and wants to do in that situation there, which it could be to heal. It also could be using that that person's story of maybe, yes, they're not able to see, but they may have a great attitude and they may have the peace of the Holy Spirit on in their lives and a result that's able to encourage other people through that testimony as well again it all goes back to testimonies and opportunities to glorify god can never never be undervalued or understated This my moment right here. I was waiting for it, waiting for a moment where they'd be able to sing in unison together here um, and talk about the greatness that is our God here. Beautiful stuff. So I'm not afraid of what's ahead. I'm standing in the confidence that even though I can't, my God can. Oh, oh, yes, he can. I can do all things, all things through Christ. Amen here. I love this great, uh, great uh, uh, reference in here too. I believe it's Philippians uh, 4.13 talking about Christ um, um, through, through Christ who gives us strength. Um, and it's beautiful here that they're including scripture here directly. It's a very commonly used scripture, yes. But at the same time, any scripture that can be used in song, I truly believe is extremely powerful too. And it's a direct reference for people to, to the Bible and to the mighty word of God, which is great. And I think there's just so much, I, not that there's not power in other lyrics in the song, but man, there's some big power here. We're able to be able to include direct scripture here into our songs. this part because his spirit lives in me i know this again it's going a little bit touchy here for our theological lines here too i truly believe that the holy spirit continues to continues uh to be within us today i know not everyone believes that you have different christian denominations who believe in cessationism which is the belief that the holy spirit is no longer moving Come However, in my argument too is there's no direct line in scripture mentioning that too. And it also another thing to mention too is if God provides miracles here, how how are miracles be able to be facilitated, facilitated through the Holy Spirit, uh, who is part of the Trinity of Christ, the Trinity of God, uh, which is Jesus, the Son, God, the Father, and then you have the Holy Spirit in there too as well. And again, I love that they're being bold here, mentioning this here too, because I personally believe as Christians, uh, 
we need to, to get used to embracing the Holy Spirit here too. And when I say the Holy Spirit here too, that doesn't mean that we need to go straight into talking in tongues. I think unfortunately a lot of times when people think about the Holy Spirit, they immediately go to the gift of tongues. And that definitely is available for folks who want to use that gift of the Holy Spirit. But that's not the only way the Holy Spirit works. And we shouldn't limit the Holy Spirit to only one gift. When Paul talks about that, there's many gifts of the Holy Spirit. Man, oh man, what some great themes in there. So many great themes in there by Katie Nicole there and Naomi Rain there with their song, My God Can. Thank you so much for them for creating that song there and creating a song that glorifies and brings us all back to God. Love their themes there of Through Christ Who Strengthens Me. Talk about how the Spirit lives within us. There were some great talking points and some great opportunities for us there in that song. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch and as we took a look through those themes together today as well. If there's something that stood out to you, please feel free to put it down in the comments section below where it's from the song or maybe it's one of the comments that I made as I stopped and I paused during the song as well. And I very much appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video here today. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time and hope that you have a very blessed day. Bye-bye.